Hey Lexi, I'm in the mood for pizza. It's 9 a.m. A pizza you, that is. Are you Wi-Fi? I don't think so. Because I'm totally feeling a connection. I'm not. Wait Lexi, if you were a burger at McDonald's, you'd be McGorgeous. I think you should move out. Welcome back to another episode I like to call Embarrassing Pearson in Front of the World, which is also known as just another Pearson YouTube video, because I seem to do that a lot. So. so everyone knows what the awkward phase is, right? So everyone goes through it. It's either you have braces or your hair is just not grown out all the way or your style looks like you literally just picked it up on the side of the road, that sort of thing. We've all been through it. Although I've been through it 17 times. I've had so many awkward phases in my life that I can't even count them on my hands. So today we're going to be rating those different stages in my life. You'll probably never watch another one of my videos because it's that cringy. So let's do it. We're gonna start off with the phase of the weird mess thing. I don't even know how to describe this. What? What? It, what is that? What am I doing with my face in literally all of these pictures? Like, I don't know if it's the braces that like make your mouth like a horse. I guess I was just walking around like this. Hey, hi, how you doing? I'll just take a six piece chicken nugget. Why did no one tell me that that was not an okay face to make? I'm gonna rate this a two out of 10, okay? And that's pretty high. You know what, moving on. Oh, I hate this stage. So back in, back in my day, there was a time in our lives where Tumblr was really popping. The biggest person on Tumblr was Acacia Brindley. She rocked this hairstyle where it was like literally like, sup, bro? You would part your hair so far to the side that you'd start walking around like this because it'd be so heavy on one side. You'd be like, hey, Johnny, how was the test? Like, okay, I'm gonna, okay. We're not bringing it back, let's just say that. Literally, I would part my hair so far to the side. Also, does Pearson just not understand what tweezers are? Like, just do a little pluck. And in this same phase of Tumblr, I would literally, this is just, I thought I looked good. That's the worst part about it. I thought that I was trendy and cool, like laying in the leaves, like, no. No, you're allergic to grass, get up. And I clearly haven't grown into my nose yet. So still, okay. You're at home saying you still haven't. Thank you so much for that ego boost. What is up with me laying on the ground? I'm just like accentuating my split ends. Like, hey, look at my split ends. I have really unhealthy hair. Hi, how, how's it going? Okay, it looks like I just got electrocuted. And the shirt, I look like a middle-aged mother. Why did I think that that was cute? I still to this day don't know how to braid hair whatsoever. And, <sighs> Girl, you have a big forehead. Don't show it off. That's what the boys like. That's really what they <laughs> dig on. And this picture. Okay, it's kind of cute. I mean, I'm smiling, whatever. Definitely awkward stage, but whatever. The walls though. That's what really, really just doesn't sit right with me. All our dreams can come true if we had the courage to pursue them. What the? And in courage, there's a little dream catcher. Excuse me for just one moment. So this picture, it's fine, whatever. It's this picture that makes me livid. What is that? If I were to go to school with myself in this stage, I probably would have punched myself in the face. Repeatedly. Negative 14 out of 10. The next stage is my beachy girl stage. I literally lived at the beach. So my skin was burnt to a crisp. Clearly hadn't heard of the word sunscreen before because I, have never ever been that shade ever in my life. This is me and my friend Kylie holding our surfboards. It's actually not even my surfboard, it was someone else's surfboard that I had just pretended like it was mine and probably posted it on Instagram to try and show everyone that hey, I'm a surfer. Wasn't a surfer. Oh, there's there's a video. Let's see how good I was at surfing. I'm gonna kill this. I know I'm gonna kill this. And she's going, she's paddling, and oh, okay. No. <laughs> Pretty sure I got hit in the face with that surfboard and I tried to play it off again with the bottoms that clearly don't fit. You know what, I'm gonna have to give this stage. It was just, it's the fact that I was trying to fit in so badly for me. Like, just be yourself, just be yourself and that is all that you can do because you will clearly never be a cool surfer girl. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10, okay? Because at least I was going out there, I was having the time of my life. Oh yeah, okay. This stage was, I think, seventh grade. I went to this celebrity gifting suite where I had to like hold the celebrities' bags. You know what? I don't even know half of these celebrities. Who? I mean, she's gorgeous, but who? who is this? 
And then this guy, I don't even know, I know he was on Disney Channel, but I don't know what show he was on. I didn't know a lot of people did the same thing until I saw this on TikTok from a couple different people. I had these little baby hairs right here and I thought it would be a grand idea to cut them and just continue cutting them forever. It's gonna grow out, sweetie. You're not gonna be able to hide the secret forever. This guy, Gustavo, I think it was, on Big Time Rush, and he was like the manager guy. I was like, oh, Gustavo, what's up, my bro? I am looking good today with my fringe t-shirt and feather earrings. Let's take a flick. I guess I've just always been a clout chaser. Just even the fact that I don't know these people and I was just taking pictures with them because I knew that they were famous. <sighs> God. Growing up, I was really shy. So I'm proud of myself. I'm gonna give myself a five out of 10. And the last stage is middle school Pearson. Probably the most awkward stage in my life. I just have so many questions. I was blonde slash orange again. Why does that always happen to me? I don't know. Wearing a Mickey t-shirt, eyebrows the size of a car. So now I'm understanding why boys didn't like me in middle school. I'm just gonna leave this one here. Knock off Ugg boots, skinny jeans, a t-shirt that is just bleh, uh, plaid fedora. There is not one single thing I like about this picture. Not one single thing I can name. In the short hair, I was asking to be bullied. Okay, there's a video from 2012. Let's check out the damage, shall we? Hey, I'm Pearson, and today is the 8th of July, 2012. And I'm Pearson. Okay, we know you're Pearson. I'm packing for leadership camp. I'm leaving tomorrow, it's for three days, since I'm secretary of Paris Middle School. <gasps> what? Why was I saying that as if it was such a flex? This really humbled me. You know what, this stage, I mm, negative 413 out of 10. Honestly, I could go even lower, but I can't count that low. This was fun. This humbled me a lot. If you ever want to throw me any hate comments, I'll just let it hit me. I'll probably agree with you. If you ever see me walking down the street and you happen to have a tomato in your hand, just go ahead and give it a nice little chuck to my face, please, because the fact that I walked around in public looking like any of those stages, but now you guys know the real me. I can't wait for 10 years from now when I look back on the stage that I'm in now and I'm like, oh my God, she wore that green sweatshirt. That was so ugly on her. She was so cringy. We'll get there. We'll get there. What is up party people? I know this car is very unfamiliar to you guys. It's not my car, it's Lexi's car because my car is in some random parking garage in Los Angeles, California because it closed at 6 p.m. and I didn't know that. So you don't care, whatever. Today I'm going to be pranking my friends by having some of their favorite actors on a phone call with them. From Robert Downey Jr. to Matthew McConaughey to Adam Sandler. Only it's not actually them, it's my friend Michael who's really great at impressions. Let's get him good, shall we? Oh. Benjamin! I came into contact with someone's manager okay and I know that you're a really big fan of this person you've seen all the movies and so we're able to hop on one phone call with this person really yeah. shut up you're a really big fan of this person Wait, what and I'm gonna give him a call what Hello. Well, all right all right all right how's it going Lexi nice to meet you Matthew McConaughey here and uh, it's gotta say it's my privilege who is it Hey, Robert. All right, so here's the deal. I don't have a whole lot of time. What's up? How's it going? Hey, I'm I'm with a really big fan right now. His name is Ben. Hello. Hello, Benjamin. All right, I love you 3,000. Just act normal. Don't be nervous. Hey, Adam. Oh, hey, uh, how's, it, uh, how's it going? Dom right now is potentially having a girlfriend. What do you what do, what do you think about that? Is that a good idea to get into a relationship at, how old are you? I'm 17. He's 17, he's a baby. Dom, who knows, it could be a train wreck, guys. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta make sure that uh, you're, you're keeping a loosey-goosey, you know, just having fun. With um, <laughs> I don't know what to say right now, but I love you, I love your movies. Can, can you teach me how to fly? What are, you, what are you working with? Because, you know, I'm just using nanotech over here, so. Uh, he says he wants to hop in your Iron Man suit. Uh, well, I'm sure you and a million others, <laughs> Benjamin, you're at the top of my list. All right. Uh, can you please tell her to stop having her dog poo in my room? Please. My dog doesn't poo in her room! Listen, Lexi, I, I'm not here to say this is not, you know, I'm not judging. Judy. This is not people's court. I don't really know how to decide who's a guilty party here, but I'll just say, you know, all that negativity you're getting on your end, I say push it aside. We're green lighters catching those green lights to keep moving forward. Oh my God. Isn't that crazy? That was Iron Man. So our manager, Max, has connections to Robert Downey Jr.'s manager, and that's how I 
connected this. Deadass? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Deadass. Yeah. That Isn't was that insane. That was actually him. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You didn't believe it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Holy sh. I know, right? He said he only had time for like one five minute call. So that's why I gotta get them soon. Oh, what the f? Really? Yeah. On God. Yes. I swear to God. Yes. Oh, I was f with him. <laughs> oh, sh. I was trolling him. Was that actually him? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro. What's up, man? This is my friend oh, Michael. No. Okay, I'm calling his manager now to let him know that everything went well. Oh, Tommy, how's it at? Oh my god. Bro, you sound so much like him. That's ridiculous. <laughs> all right, thank you, Michael. Yeah, all right. See Bye. You, nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you too. Why'd you say Michael? His name is Adam. <laughs> you really screwed that up for me. Now, God, no, no, now I'm no. never gonna get cast in any of his movies. If this is if this is really Matthew McConaughey, can we do a FaceTime? Hey, I'm down for whatever, baby. Alright. Oh, oh, alright, alright, alright. All right, here's the deal. I'm not Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> you don't say. I you know, I do a great stuff. stitch impression. <laughs> oh, how the moods fabulous. Okay, we're gonna and just fabulous means no one that's left behind or forgot. That's great. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. All right. See you. All right. Bye. Wow. Good one, Pearson. <laughs> one day I will actually have the real Matthew. I know, and I'm gonna yell at him on the phone. It's gonna be really awkward. I know. <laughs> yeah, Matthew will show your face, <laughs> dummy. You big dummy. I didn't say that. It was in the tone. Do you want to hear my stitch impression again? No. Oh, hada mens fabal. Okay. I think we're gonna. Fabal. All right. Mens no one. Okay. Left and on that note, oh, I can also do Dexter. No, no, no. Okay. Do, 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 do. No, no.